Chapter 32 Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in justice. A man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as streams of water in a dry place, as the shade of a great rock in a weary land. The eyes of those who see shall not be dim, and the ears of those who hear shall listen. The heart of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerer shall be ready to speak plainly. The fool shall be no more called noble, nor the scoundrel be highly respected. For the fool will speak folly, and his heart will work iniquity, to practice profanity, and to utter error against the Lord, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and to cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. The instruments of the churl are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the humble with lying words, even when the needy speaks right. But the noble devises noble things, and in noble things shall he continue. Rise up, you women who are at ease, and hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear to my speech. For days beyond a year you shall be troubled, you careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the harvest shall not come. Tremble, you women who are at ease. Be troubled, you careless ones. Strip yourselves and make yourselves naked, and gird sackcloth on your loins. They shall strike on the breast for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. On the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars, yes, on all the houses of joy in the joyous city. For the palace shall be forsaken, the populous city shall be deserted, the hill and the watchtower shall be for dens forever, a joy of wild donkeys, a pasture of flocks, until the Spirit be poured out on us from on high and the wilderness become a fruitful field, and the fruitful field be esteemed as a forest. Then justice shall dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness shall abide in the fruitful field. The work of righteousness shall be peace, and the effect of righteousness, quietness, and confidence forever. My people shall abide in a peaceable habitation, and in safe dwellings, and in quiet resting places. But it shall hail in the downfall of the forest, and the city shall be utterly laid low. Blessed are you who sow beside all waters, who send forth the feet of the ox and the donkey.